Thank you for tuning in to Terry Swoo videos. On today's video, I'm going to do a Where Are They Now on the 80s teen star, Diane Franklin. She's most known for being a teenage idol during the 80s. A lot of teenage boys had crushes on her growing up in the 80s. This girl was beautiful. And she played in several teen movies during the 80s. Better Off Dead, A Last American Version. But in this video, I'm going to specifically talk about the last American version from 1982. The last American version was released in the summer of 1982. It was directed by Boaz Davison. And the movie went on to gross $5.8 million at the box office. The movie revolves around three teenage boys trying to get laid. But the one of the teenage boys named Gary has a crush on a new girl at school named Karen. And Karen is an exchange student who's new at school and she's the most beautiful girl at the school. But she doesn't want anything to do with Gary. She completely ignores him. And she starts dating his best friend, Rick. Rick is the bad boy. He's the one that goes from girl to girl to girl. He's not trying to be in a serious relationship. He's just trying to get laid. But just like a lot of younger girls, Karen loves the bad boy. She wants to be with the bad boy. And this is what most young teenage girls usually go for. But she ends up getting pregnant by Rick. And as soon as she gets pregnant, Rick dumps her. And then she starts dating Gary. And Gary pays for her abortion. She decides to get an abortion and get rid of the child. And Gary pays for the abortion. After Karen's abortion, she starts dating Gary and they start getting into a serious relationship and Gary falls in love with her. But after everything that Gary did for her, she ends up dumping him and going back to Rick. Even after Rick treats her like shit and dumped her after she got pregnant, she ends up going back to Rick at the end of the movie. And this is why the movie is called the last American version, meaning the last guy, the nice guy always finishes last. That old saying that the nice guy always finishes last, well, that's what happens in this movie with Gary. So a lot of people kind of feel sorry for Gary at the end of this movie because the end of this movie is very sad. But I like the fact that this movie doesn't have a happy ending. It doesn't go the way of most teen comedies. It doesn't go the way of most movies in general. So that's what makes this movie so unique. And this is why it's looked at as a cult classic for most people who grew up in the 80s. Now, Diane Franklin went on to play in numerous other movies. She starred in Better Off Dead with John Cusack. She also pl played in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. But she kind of stopped acting after the 1980s. She didn't play in any movie roles during the 1990s. But during the uh, early 2010s, she started producing short films. And she started producing her own independent movies. Today, Diane Franklin is 58 years old. She's been married for 30 years and she has two kids. And I'm happy to see that she's still alive and well. I think she looks lovely for a 58 year old woman. A lot of people have different opinions about this topic. Leave a comment, rate and subscribe.